Hello everyone, this is Sia Teptara speaking. Um, today I'm going to show you an iPad appropriate tutorial on how to draw a muscular body for a character art. So we are going to start drawing from line drawing with pectoral and abdominal muscle. Uh, then we're going to go with the arm from deltoid, bicep. Uh, you can hardly see tricep in this one. Once we finish the sketch, I'm going to show you how to render a character into making it look like this. Uh, I'm going to show you a specific tool and go into a specific detail on how to render and uh, using smudge tool or uh, line tool or specific brush that came with Procreate. And if you are pretty new to this drawing and rendering thing, um, don't be scared. Uh, I also have this these are the still image that I made like a while back and you can download them by searching Google for my name and Mayo Anatomy. That is if you want still image to practice and hone your craft. So you can just go to Google and just search my name Zia Tiptara and then Mayo um, Anatomy or something similar to that with my name. You could probably find something useful there or Pinterest. As you can see all these image I have um, define or separating each section of the muscle by coloring them um, into the color code. All right, well, um, let's get started on this muscular guy that we are going to make on Procreate. All right, all right, so I tweak my background into about 80% gray. Um, then, uh, so that I can maybe start up some highlight and then I make it into the cooler tone. I'm just going to use round brush default. Then I'm going to pick black. We're just going to start off with a pretty rough line. And when I say rough, I mean really rough. So I'm start off with the head. I'm not sure um, what pose I'm going to do. But I think I'm just going to do, at the time, I was just going to do a pretty easy pose like the frontal character dude. Then I figured, well, that might be a little too big, so I resize it before I go further. Then I'm just kind of creating a line for the torso and then the legs. Um, then I'm trying to figure out where to put the arm. And I start out with one peg and just one arm, start with um, basic toy and then I decided well maybe I just I'm just going to start out with the shape because it probably a lot quicker and I put in the value about maybe mid-tone gray and I figured that might be a little too dark I'm not sure yet at this point um, just creating this silhouette and since I'm going to render them then you know creating silhouette with uh, mid-tone it's probably a lot easier and now I'm just going lighter on the pegs and I think I'm just gonna go lighter overall because I it might be a little too dark and and when you make a character too dark it might be a bit hard for you to put in some shadow so um, unless you have uh, indicate in the uh, indicate those darker value for the shadow area so now I'm just using salt brush to kind of get overall mid-tone uh, slightly toward the dark basically. And then I'm putting another value in. And basically it's probably easier if you have uh, some idea in mind for just three value, um, light, mid, and dark, but that's not including the background. So what I mean by light, mid, and dark, they are going to be the value that are closer together um, like uh, between the body and his um, lower part or I'm not sure if I'm going to draw uh, uh, pants or uh, some sort of a fantasy kind of skirt or hakama or uh, big pants or something I'm not sure yet but right now if you look at it I only have three values so if you start off with the three value, um, what I mean by value is three tones or three shades of gray. So now we know that under the neck is going to, going to be dark and 
on the side of your pectoral, right next to the arms, also going to be dark. So you just, I'm just putting those marks to indicate those area and the side of the body, right? And try to work on the bigger piece, I mean, as a whole first before you diving in to start polishing up on those detail on the smaller areas. So uh, it's probably easier to, or better, to kind of see the overall image so you can rearrange your shading or your value or your grayscale better when you can um, put in the overall value for you to look um, as a whole. But if you zoom in and try to work on a particular area, then usually you, you get caught up and you get stuck. And when you come back out and you look at it and you'll be like, oh, that's uh, how come it doesn't fit together as a whole? So try to render everything pretty loose in the beginning and try to get the um, main muscle group or the bigger part like the whole pecs. I'm just putting all those light on his chest as one big area before I start to split it into two pictorials. And if you can see on the rib cage, I start adding those two lines on the side and then the upper um, abdominal part and the lower abdominal part. So those are just two sections. I'm not starting off with six pack right away. I'm trying to get the form. And then you see the arm. I'm slowly trying to get the upper arm and the lower arm into the assigned value first before I start going in and adding uh, deltoid or shoulder muscle or bicep and tricep. Um, right now you see the shoulder separating from the upper arm on the right right side of the screen and now I'm slowly going up to his head and trying to um, get the correct value for the, the face and also eraser is a pretty useful tool uh, when you start working with shape like I do um, eraser is going to help you polish those shape into something that is presentable um, yeah brush and eraser came together so you and plus these are digital tools right so you don't need to worry about if your paper is going to uh, get thinner or get runes um, when you are drawing with paper and charcoal or graphite uh, graphite is basically pencil right um, so in digital form it's a lot more forgiven and you can paint over and over and over and usually um, if you look at those on the left side of the screen, those uh, interface, I usually go pretty high on the opacity, um, but I, I do change the brush size from time to time. And usually 80 to 70, 70 to 80% of the time, I'll just go 100% opacity. And I just try to get the correct value. So you don't get those um, effect of inconsistency of the uneven color or uneven um, tone on the particular spot. So you want a big spot that you dis designate to be this area is the shadow or this area is the plane that are darker. And then when you make a transition, you have to decide whether the transition between one area and the other area is going to be soft edge or is going to be hard edge. Now I am making a la another layer and trying to get some facial feature going on. Uh, I'm just gonna give him beard. Cause I think all the character looks cooler with the beard. Um, all right, so lower beard, some stash, and I'm just gonna add some uh, facial feature and hair along with it. And at this part, I'm trying to make a sort of a, a Norton barbaric character, basically. But I'm not sure what kind of hairstyle I'm gonna give him. It's probably some uh, long hair with a knot tie on top, uh, pretty typical. Um, now as you can see, I'm going a full opacity. So as you can see, the, the body has only two tones, and those two tones are um, the the area where the shadow should be for the whole uh, form. And to create the mask, you're gonna need this shadow like under under the peg, on the side of your rib cage, and on the mid section of your your abdominal. Um, those are gonna be the darker area, and the lower part of the shoulder. 
Now I'm just adding eye socket to his face um, and a little bit of nose, but I'm not going to go in and make too much of a big deal on the face. Um, it's probably going to be kind of screwed up. I'm just going to focus basically on the overall character, uh, more so on the body, but I will probably have to go back in and fix the face. Um, all right, but uh, I might cut some of uh, some part on the face out because we are just going to focus also i'm not trying to get this video to make it like an hour long so it's going to be shorter and so that you guys can get to see how i deal with the body so now we have two tones on the body right now we're going to get the third tone it could be on a separate layer or be the same layer it doesn't matter um, but if you have it on the same layer you could take advantage of the color uh, blending or smear i'm using the nico brush um, I think it's called Nico. I'm not sure. I always forgot, but it's on my customized palette and it came with um, the uh, default Procreate. So I'm just drawing basically the line um, where uh, those shadow would be like underneath the armpit, lower part of the pecs and the part that's going to be dark. So it's basically like a line drawn on the anatomy and if you download those image uh, uh, it might help you um, clear up all this uh, line where uh, the, in between the pecs would be and all that. So now I'm adding a little shadow on the neck because his head would probably cast a shadow down to the body. And more shadow using big brush. Try to use big brush in the beginning to cover the most area that you can um, so that you don't have to go there, that brush I usually use the most when I want to get sort of like a charcoal texture. It has a little bit of a perfect amount of grime and amount of texture to make your image in Procreate look somewhat traditional. Um, now, I'm adding the same mark on the other side. Basically, those are all I'm trying to make like the line for the rib cage and the line for the um, underneath on this corner of the pecs um, and a little bit on that upper abdominal section and this is the mid abdominal section I'm just drawing a line basically follow along with the um, part of the abdominal that will cast a shadow and that's why it kind of need to be darker but then um, a little bit later I'm just going to I'm going to show you um, how I uh, make transition um, using the tool in Procreate, which is the smudge tool. I don't usually use a smudge tool in Photoshop, um, but Procreate, I found that the smudge tool is very, very, very helpful when you're trying to make the soft edge. Uh, in Photoshop, I usually use soft brush if you've seen my tutorial before. So now I'm trying to create a darker line um, on that midsection of the abdominal. And then, try to tweak those line a little bit. At this point, I'm trying to figure it out how am I going to make the transition without messing it up. I haven't, uh, I kind of forgot about the, the smudge tool because I haven't used a uh, smudge tool that often. Yeah, at this point, I'm still being sort of stupid and trying to um, playing around with the tool and see what I can do and what I can use to uh, make it look how I want them to look. Uh, the most important thing when you paint or draw or render or shading something is you have to know what kind of final result you would want it to look like. So if you have some image as your um, sample of the technique that you're trying to use, like you can you look at um, Craig Mullen, Glenn Rupu, or um, anybody that you admire as an artist and use those look and try to mimic those look with your own image and you can also find the reference of the real photo and use that look of the painting as where you want to go where would be your goal in that image you know what i mean so um, it's kind of similar to study but not because you're not totally trying to copy the image you're just trying to get the look of that final look that you want for your image but then you're using reference from uh, another body as a, a real 
um, a real photo or something, or you can do go live drawing, same thing. Um, but then you have that image on your phone so that you can look at and you're like, okay, that's the direction I want to go. So those images are going to be somewhat your directional um, guideline that you want to mimic. All right, now I tone those darker line down a bit and I'm using soft brush to try to get those um, line going. Now I'm going back to the hard edge, I mean the default um, round brush and trying to figure out still um, then now i make those dark mark and now i'm using smudge tool and i'm slowly figuring out um, how to take advantage of this tool and this tool is pretty useful so i'm just kind of make a darker line then i just smudge it to where i want them to um, i want the, the surface to be round right or the surface to blend and then I'm drawing the outline of this his arm using brush with uh, I'm just gonna cover that area of the their toy first then I'm just using the smudge tool and pulling it and pushing those part of the bicep uh, pulling it down to the side and then on his joint I'm just uh, pulling it up so that it would make his bicep uh, for would give the form on his bicep uh, as it rounded. Um, and now I'm just gonna slowly using the same technique. I'm drawing the line under his pectoral and abdominal. Uh, just a few lines to indicate, uh, and then rib cage and more lines. So all these lines. Um, I using it as a starter point and all these lines would be where um, the um, occlusion shadow be right then I'm start smudging it and I'm just smudging it to the part that I want to round it up so you have to know where your, your lighting is coming from or if you don't know your lighting that well um, you can use some reference and then but um, this way before you smudge in the dark value this would be like the, the last part or the final kind of closer closer to the almost done part that i would do i would lay out uh, as i progress from the beginning right if you remember i just uh, prep it with mid-tone and darker mid-tone and now i'm going to the, the darker part so i start off with just painting so just put um 100 percent opacity on two value of the gray and now I'm just going in for um, the darker area using smudge tool. So um, it's important to get, I like to work from the mid value and then I'm going to dark and then highlight rarely um, on certain spot maybe. And then now you can see me using smudge tool on this um, from the occlusion and going there, right? And just using smudge tool to round it up, uh, round up his, um, toy and this much tool in Procreate pretty awesome uh, I starting to like it a lot and then if you want a lighter line if, if the line is too dark and, and you want to cover more area with the lighter gray then you just pick the lighter color from the color uh, picker and also a couple more things I want to add is don't overdo the smudging things um, you have to maintain some of the edge to be hard to get um, the, the form to look correct, right? So if you soften everything, then the form uh, would not, uh, the form would look kind of too soft and too uh, ambiguous. So if you, if you see those, I'll have the hard line on one side, right? So the hard line is dark to the lighter part, and then I'll have, I'll smudge only one side to round one side up because where, that's where the light fall and, and that's when the shadow create and when need the new plane start it facing different directions so it would have that hard edge in between the apps right so um, just beware of smudging don't smudge it everywhere just just keep some of the hard line like if you can see I'm, I'm painting this pack right now I'm just um, making this hard line I'm, I'm just going going to smudge on one direction, which is up, 
because the light is coming from top and then um, your shoulder round it down to the, the intersect of the bicep and the tricep so where those muscle intersect or, or um, muscle going in and, and intersect each other the plane that are different that's where the heart heart edge is going to create because the, the change of plane in between um, the deltoid and the tricep or the deltoid and the bicep uh, will create the heart edge um, that's why you see uh, some people are pretty ripped and those lines are pretty prominent and that's happened because of the lighting and the change of plane on the surface of your body so now we kind of getting almost there i'm just gonna slowly uh, using trying to get the cover out the darker area with those one more line there and i'm just going to kind of using the smudge tool and pull it in so done soft and everything leave some of the part being harder so you know once if you are still pretty new um, you probably don't know where to to um, get the hard edge or the soft edge or how the light would work with these uh, I might try to do some tutorial on that we'll see um, but if you're interested in those then you might want to go to my website or go to gumroad.com slash my name and download the ultimate digital painting tutorial for beginner uh, volume 1 and volume 2 um, I have all those things explained and you can there will be some exercise you can practice um, but if you understand this now then you don't really need those right but if you knew you might want to um, get your your head trying to wrap around those uh, concept and um, those tutorials are going to be pretty useful but if you're watching these and you're trying to um, mimic this technique and you can uh, achieve it then that's good right and that's the um, purpose of the tutorial so now same thing I'm doing it on the side and as you can see um, when I add the darker line the definition of those muscle or those area uh, looks a lot more defined and it looks a lot more clear um, so with just three tones you can uh, pretty much make this um, looks pretty decent so you don't need any much more. Uh, most of my concept or most of my drawing, I'm not usually I'm not trying to get it more than three value or three tones uh, within one color or within um, the one one uh, one gray or something. Three tones of gray. Um, if you need it more, that means you are painting a different material. Maybe if you painting metal or something that have specular high specular level, then you're gonna need. Uh, probably more than three tones so the value might be uh, or the value have to be far apart so now I am adding this sword I'm making a layer behind him and adding like a broad sword uh, on his back and just yeah I'm just showing you this maybe you should cut it out I'm not sure um, but I think I'm just gonna see. all right now we're back to that layer that we have the occlusion or the darker um, gray or almost black uh, basically it's like 90% black or more than 90% black so I'm just gonna work on his lower abdominal area and putting some darker value on there I'm trying to make it round down with the texture brush that it has so I think this is pretty close to um, what I want I, I kind of want it sketchy it's not going to be like super finished final uh, these are just morning sketch that I usually do and this one takes uh, longer than half an hour so it takes me about two sessions of 20 minutes or something but I cut a lot of part out like the face and the uh, probably the whip and the sword um, So we are almost there. I'm adding a little more lighter value on to the side of his his oblique, basically. Basically, um, 
uh, below his oblique and those are going to be where um, the fat storage will um, like men will have more area around his stomach to save the fat or um, store the fat right and these are the area and if you want to like it's I think it's pretty useful if you working out also so you know uh, what muscle is where and um, which part of the muscle look to look like and things like that so um, and it would get you pretty healthy also and usually on the abs um, if you want to get the abs and you're working out then you're going to have to lose uh, body fat to be lower than um, probably 18% of your body fat then you start to see the abs and if you have your body fat more than um, 18% then you're gonna hardly see anything on the abs you it doesn't matter how hard of a setup you do um, you're gonna have to lower the body fat doing cardio or something right um, oh wait I got carried away you're not making a um, workout video here so yeah, uh, it, it can also be pretty useful because you can use yourself as a model if you've got pretty rip. Um, and I guess this is almost there. I'm just going to add in a little bit more of the, some of the occlusion line. Um, so basically, we almost there. Um, if you have any questions, please comment down below. And if you just want to say hi, please feel free to say hi. And if you have any question at all, um, just feel free to ask about your opinion, whether Photoshop appropriate. And I'm going to try to create it, but I still haven't downloaded it yet. Uh, maybe some other program in Procreate you're interested in, just let me know. Um, I might be able to download them and um, do the video on it. All right, guys. And if you're interested in more, then you can go to my website, theartclasses.com. Um, there are tons of tutorials. Or go to qbrush.com co slash theateptara or gumroad um, slash my name. Um, all right, guys. Well, um, I'm adding a little bit more on pegs. I guess I'm just, it's only a couple minutes left. I'm just going to leave it. And then you guys can take a look at what I do. And again, this week I'll update one more tutorial on Photoshop so you can take a look at uh, how I color on Genji character. Alright guys, and don't forget to click subscribe so every time I upload a new video, you guys can watch it. Alright, well have a good day guys. But there will be maybe 5 or 6 more minutes of the video still left. You can keep watching it. And don't forget to download those, those uh, images I have um, on Google. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.